So just set a new personal best, pulled this plant with 26 nodes, 25 inner nodes on this P39 T28X. And we're still blooming up top. We have four significant branch nodes with up to 16 nodes on them. And the reason is we're just thinking outside the box as far as cropping systems, uh, keeping living roots, utilizing manure, and getting sunshine deeper into the plant in reproduction. The only way you can do it is through pruning. And check this out. This is where our old wheat used to be. We've had rainfall, but this was where the manure injection was. See that little worm guy here? We can just take our hand here, and we've got just a live soil right here. See that worm digging? And these roots right here are from the soybeans. So these soybeans are about placed 10 to 12 inches away, and they're growing inside this area right here that have manure injected. The wheat has taken out the ammonium and has left plant available phosphorus, sulfur, all these goodies, along with living roots and all this biology and worms. And these beans just haven't missed a beat. And what we're seeing is between the eighth and 18th node is this really compact uh, production. We're getting six or 10 pods per node and they're really close together. As we closed, they grew a little bit taller you can see we're still producing. So I am just uber excited about what these guys are gonna make here. Uh, you know, we'll be able to harvest our two eights here in about a month. They're just starting to turn. And this area between the three six, three nine, a uh, four, 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 two, four, five, four, six is where it's really incredible. But uh, I mean, it's from the bottom all the way to the top. As I get there, we got a lot of blooms, but. Incredible plants, incredible growth. There's plenty of them. We came in here and harvested uh, the wheat. It didn't cost as much and it just started driving this whole system. This is really neat, folks. And we're setting the stage for 400 bushel corn next year.